Height, reach, goes to Mahmoudi. Got to use it here. Long cold pet, as Mitch said, flawless. Hardly ever makes a mistake. Early on elbow attempt there from Mahmoudi. Checks the low kick. Good catch and counter from Mongol Pet with power, Rich. Yeah, you saw me grimace on that leg kick. He did a great job of catching just like that. Mahmoudi wants to get in the grapple on the inside, work the knees and elbows. Yeah, Mahmoudi can't let those, he cannot allow his leg to be caught like that in those leg kicks because that stuff is going to add up real fast. Absolutely no filling out process at all. Cracks downstairs again, Mongol Pet returns the favor, Mamoudi. Step through yeah. knee, look for the elbow, didn't throw it. Left hook, downward elbow from Mamoudi, nicely done on the inside. Yeah. Puts on a knee guard yeah. and Olivier breaks them. Yeah, Mamoudi starts incredibly fast in all of his matchups. He's not allowing Mongol Pet to jump on him. Any of that forward pressure. Monko Pet expected this. He knows he's gonna be counter striking, so he's waiting to time these shots. I like the way he's catching and throwing that leg kick. All that weight is on yeah. that leg, and he is laying into it. You typically see Monko Pet start with a slower pace at the beginning of the first round, but he came right out this time and was aggressive from the first Dude. second. Yeah. The reason why a lot of the ties do start slower than the Westerners is because at the Thai stadiums, they're betting on the fights live, ringside. So really the first two rounds, they'll feel each other out, allow as many bets to come in on the fight as possible, and then third, fourth, fifth round, they can start to pick up the pace. Of course, no betting on these fights. Straight into the action, three rounds only. Very little margin for error in these four rounds clubs. Does not get any more exciting than one Super Series Muay Thai. Monko Pet was true to his words, saying he wanted to chop down that leg of Mahmoudi, and he is going right after it. And you can just see that is shin to thigh as he steps into it. The way that he's digging that shin in, that's going to pay dividends as the match wears on. Uppercut elbow open here for Mahmoudi. Didn't yeah. throw, gets the knees off instead. Look at, you can already see the bruising and the welting starting on, on well, you can see it on the back of his right, of Mahmoudi's right leg, but you can see it on the front of the left leg too when the camera swings around. Monko Pet, good right hand, found the opening. Counter shot there from Monko Pet. Mahmoudi enjoying the clinch range. Good, yeah. Greg says Olivia Cost. Two. Mahmoudi edges forward, long reaching front kick, body shot to elbow from Mongol Pet. Evades the counter. That was wonderful. What a way to end the first round. I like that slip and rip thrown by Mongol Pet as he catches and then goes right to the body with that straight right hand. And you can tell that is going to add up. Look at that. You can see how Mahmoudi tried to jump out of the way of it. Nice little counter on the exchange from Mahmoudi. Oh, look at that. Beautiful left hook. Stumbled Monko Pet a little bit as Mahmoudi tried to rush in right there. Rich, how'd you score that one for the folks at home? Yeah, I actually ha I gave this round to Monko Pet. I saw the little stumble there, but I'm looking at the damage on the outside of the Mahmoudi's left leg, and it's starting to change his game plan. So I'm counting that damage higher than I'm counting the damage from Monko Pet making that little stumble. Great replay. I didn't think he stumbled that much, but he did catch him. But that superficial damage is going to start to add up. I think that the damage in this is not just superficial. I think it's starting to accumulate. That's why it adds up. That's it. So it's a different <laughs> damage category. It's called accumulative damage. Right, we have three ready? different damage categories. Two. Second round of three. Ten nine. Moncol Pet on Rick Franklin's unofficial scorecard after one. I like the counters of Monko Pet off that push kick. Mahmoudi might need to rethink that thing because when he catches it, he either goes to the leg with that chop or he goes right to the body with the straight right hand. Good counter there from Monko Pet. Left hand from Monko Pet, then the leg kick. Body head from the tie. Yeah, Mahmoudi landed a nice left hook of his own on that. Oh, beautiful dump there from Mongol Pet. Yeah, Just came a little too late, though. I don't know if that was a dump or a suplex. <laughs> well, the, the project was coming loose, so we just threw it off there, Mongol Pet, and referee Olivia Cost disposes of it. Jab from Mongol Pet, beautifully done again. Nice short elbow off the right arm on the inside from Mongol Pet. 
You may be wondering Good. about Mongol yeah. Pitt's entire name. Mongol Pitt, Pitt India Academy Talk. is obviously not his surname, but the high fighters do take their last name as their gym name. Therefore, you see Yodson Clive Fairtex from the Fairtex Academy. You see Pitt Dan, Pitt India Academy from Pitt India. Also those are some stiff right hands, Michael, coming from Michael Pet. He's doing good body work. He attacks everything good. so well. When we say that he's well-rounded, that means he's strong going forward. He can punch off of the back foot, but he's also good inside the clinch. It's something I do say often, the excellence of execution, and it really does ring true ace for Michael Pet. Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised. Or I shouldn't say I'm really surprised. Oh, oh dropped him! Wow. With that beautiful right hand, smack oh. bang on the kisser. Wow. And Mambuti does a quick hey. count of his teeth. Hey. He says, I'm OK. Hey. But he got dropped. Hey. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised hey. at how many, how many jabs and straight punches that that, Pet, that Mongo hey. Pet is able to put on Mambuti, yeah. given the height advantage that Two. Mambuti has. Mongol Pep putting on a show as he said to you, Dragon, he will. Yeah, he's got three times as much experience as Mahmoudi. Mahmoudi is an incredibly dynamic and an explosive striker, but this is just a different class. Look at that straight right hand again to the body. Break there from Olivier Goss. 30 seconds remaining. It's a 10 8 round as it stands so far for Mongol Pep. You got the first round at 10-9 unofficially on our scorecards. Which means in the final round, Mahmoudi's gonna have to knock him out. Misses with the right hand. Right kick from Mongol Pepper. Side kick from Mahmoudi, who is cut. It looks like it may be over the right eye. Great round from Mongol Pet Dragon. Yeah, it was impressive, especially with the timing off of that punch to go right down the middle and put Mahmoudi down. There's Mahmoudi finding a nice home for the knee, but left himself open for just a moment. Look at that. Jab, caught the knee, countered it, came right back with a beautiful, look at this timing. Off the jab, the knee, boom, comes right down the middle and puts Mahmoudi down. Monko Pet is definitely showcasing a different level to his skill set. This is the Monko Pet that won the Lumpini Stadium Super Featherweight Championship. These are the skills that we expected to see early on in Monko Pet's debut here at One Super Series, but now things are really starting to come together for him. Second out now, please. 10-8, second round there, ace, no doubt about it. Yeah, I definitely had that one scored a 10-8. You know, Mahmoudi, after he got knocked down, he got up, I don't know if you remember, he kind of protested to the referee as if that wasn't a knockdown, but in that replay, it was definitive. Third and final round, we believe Mahmoudi's gonna knock out Mon Pet to win it, and certainly opens up strong. Mon Pet was looking to dump him. Boxing elbow on the inside from Mon Pet. I knee from Mahmoudi, good uppercut from Mahmoudi. Stopped him in his tracks momentarily. I think that wobbled Mongol Pet. Overhand elbow, downward elbow, and Mongol Pet dumps him. Dump again there from the tie. Well, this is a very unique clinch style that Mongol Pet has. It's rare that you see tie, with tie fighters gripping around the waist. It's typically all the, the collar ties and behind the neck that they're working. I think it's the height, Rich. He's got to really try to reach up and grab the head of Mahmoudi. So he's not able to do that. So what does the technician do? He goes after the body lock and shuts down the forward pressure of Mahmoudi. See, Mahmoudi starts to get off on him, and then Moko Pet ties him up and slows him down, gets the break, and establishes the distance again. Yeah, this is great adjustment by him because you know, grabbing grabbing around those, those collar ties of the head, you have to change the entire arm motion on the fly like that. This is great adjustment in this match. Body shot from Mongol Pet. Mahmoudi downward oh. elbow, got to watch the back of the head. Yeah. Downward elbows are perfectly legal. Trying to break the collarbone, top of the nose. 
You can hear the instruction coming from Mahmoudi's corner, and I am sure they're telling him to press forward because you can see the sense of urgency with him just walking Munkelpet down. And Munkelpet's eating up time off the clock when he does that, right? So he clinches, and that eats up about five seconds because he knows just how urgent the situation is for Mahmoudi. So every time he gets the clinch, look at that. Five, six, seven seconds tick off. Mahmoudi on the front foot needs to find a knockout of Mongol Pet again. Mongol Pet ties him up, dumps him. Lovely work. Throws him down. Time. He's exactly. Dragon. Exactly. It's great uh, strategic change because he knows the urgency coming from Mahmoudi. Even if Mahmoudi drops him at this point, it might not be enough. He's got to clean Dude, finish yeah. him. Mahmoudi cut him with that elbow as he came in there, and you just saw Mongol Pet check his forehead. You see the blood starting to drip out of the hairline. Mahmoudi downward elbow. Not enough, though, to score a knockdown or a cup that might stop the contest. On the front foot again. Three punches and an elbow. Big dump there from Mongol Pet. Running down more seconds on the clock. Shakes it. Moves back. Mongol Pet knows he's got this one. Won't do anything silly. Too much experience. The excellence and the technique in the opening two rounds from Mongol Pet. Mahmoudi has tried everything here in the third and final, but he will not find that elusive Two. knockout. Uh. We go to the judges. Folks, let us know your scorecard on social media at one championship. Great respect between these two men. Yeah, it was. Great first two rounds coming from Monko Pet. The way that he was mixing things together, the way that he would adjust and transition to new things, scored that big knockdown in the second. But then the third round, Mahmoudi really went after it. But again, we saw the technician, the strategist that is Monko Pet, utilize the clinch, the body lock, just to eat up time. And when he needed to, he would toss Mahmoudi down, and that would eat up another couple of seconds. Seconds. Even though Mahmoudi had the urgency, he had the aggression, he was still shut down by Monko Pet. Just in that experience that he's got, it's just too much. Rich, did you give the final round to uh, Mahmoudi? I, 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 I gave the final round to Monko Pet. He still the dumps. Yeah, he still yeah. controlled where the where the match was going. I, I'll, I'll say this: I'm not a fan of that strategy, but that's probably what cost me a couple fights in my life getting knocked out. You know, I'm gonna go to the very end. I'm not gonna. I don't want to cruise out that decision. But smart, smart strategy on Monko Pet's part there, and secured the decision for sure. Fantastic performance from Mon Pitt, particularly getting the knockdown in the second round. The first round was beautiful excellence and execution in the round kicks especially. Mahmoudi did try hard in the third and final, but couldn't get the knockout. Okay, let's go down to Dom Lau now in the circle for our official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn to the judges' scorecards. The judges have called this contest in favor of your winner by majority decision from the red corner, Monkolpet Petyandi Academy.